What's going on, everybody? So it's been a couple months since I've been on. I mean, the last time we kind of talked, I was heading to do the Moonbow, and that did not pan out whatsoever. I went twice, both times, just nothing. I got there, and the park was closing. And then the second time, I mean, it was just rainy and wrong and the whole nine yards. I just goobered it up bad. And then stuff has just happened. And after that, I mean, it was one thing after another after another. And I just could not get out. And now we got the coronavirus stuff going on. And I'm staying away from everybody. I'm, I'm out on the parkway. I am staying away from anybody at an overlook. I'm just out to get a peace of mind. I've not been out in two months to get any pictures and it's time I get out and grab some shots. So right now I am out at, uh, in the parking lot by myself at Price Lake and we'll try to get a nice night shot with Grandfather Mountain. The stars are out, got a crescent moon. It's looking good. So we'll try to get a good shot there and then just head uh, north on the parkway away from everybody down here. There are a few people along the parkway sleeping on some spots and stuff, and I'm not going to go anywhere near those. So I'm going to head north toward the Virginia state line. There are some great overlooks along the way. And usually that way, there's not many people. There's a strip of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Oh man, I would say a good hundred miles that just does not get visited. And that's because there's a few overlooks and a lot of flat lands and farmland that goes in and out of some neighborhoods kind of, but it's really pretty and it's underrated. So we're going to head that way. We're going to see what we can find. It's a little early for the spring flowers right now. They usually don't start coming out on the parkway till about June. So We'll have to come back and do that later on. I got a great spot for some jack in the pulpits and some nice painted trillium. But right now, I'm going to head down to Price Lake and see what I can find. So let's go down to Price Lake. All right, guys. So I'm set up here right out on Price Lake, for right on the dam area. I've got a, I don't know if you can see it here or not. I'll put it up in just a second. But I've got a really nice uh, shot with some trees. Grandfather Mountain out in the distance and a little bit of reflection. Got some nice stars out. The crescent moon is uh, a little bright, a little bright. So I'm leaving it kind of out of the shot right now. And I'm going to get in and do a little bit more detail shots, but I'm liking where this is going. So check these shots out and tell me what you think. All right, it's time to head north, see what we can find. I hope you like those shots of Grandfather Mountain and Price Lake at night. And I'm excited all night, man. Get to see what we can find. It's the first time I've been out in two months and this is, feels awesome. So here we go. Well, I've drove about 110 miles past Price Lake and I still haven't found much of nothing. Uh, I'm at the Air Billows Gap uh, kind of overlook area right now looking out over the lights from a little town out in the distance. I don't know what town that is though. But I just pulled off a few minutes to take a break, eat a snack cake and see what's going on. It's not looking too good right now. I uh, went to a couple overlooks. It was real cloudy, no stars out. Um, most of it though was just the green tunnel all the way through there. I forgot about that nice long little spade with the space with the, uh, with the, the trees on either side forever. But, uh, I made it through that big stretch. I made it through a lot of the houses and the sections there. And I'm probably 30, 40 miles from Roanoke. So... I know there's one or two more overlooks. I'm hoping one of those are nice. So we'll have to just check it out and see. If not, I mean, Price Lake's all I got tonight. So we'll see what I can come up with. But even if it is just Price Lake photos, I'm pretty happy with that. Those came out really nice. So it's part of it. Fun. The fun of it is chasing it and, you know, trying to find something you really like and you really want to photograph. So 
And if anything else, it's just been relaxing and I've had enough time to think to myself and I've passed about 50 deer and about 20 possums. <laughs> but, you know, every now and then you just need some time to yourself and this has been good for me for that at least. We've had a lot on our mind lately and just, I know I've had a lot on my mind. My wife's had a lot on hers too, but it was really good to clear the air tonight and just really think some things through and if anything else, it was worth it just for that. So... We'll see what we can come across, but right now, I'm just taking a few minutes break, eating a snack cake, grab a drink of a drink, and uh, drink of a drink, grab a little bit of my Sprite, and then I'll uh, hit the road again, see what we can find. All right, guys. Moving on. Alright guys, so I didn't find anything else, but that's okay. You know, it's been a couple months since I've been out, and it was just nice to be out and enjoy the time. Uh, next week I want to do a sunrise, and I'm thinking I want to do it at Fontana Lake. So that might be my plan next week. I can definitely tell that I'm getting older, because I am worn out. Five years ago, I would have been completely fine, but right now... I am worn out. I'm going to have to rethink a lot of these trips where I'm doing them by myself late at night after working all day. But uh, I had a good time. It was nice to just ride the road at night by yourself. There was hardly anybody on the road. I didn't even see many people at the overlooks. And if I did see them, they were, they were just sleeping or whatever. But I had a great time. It was nice. It was quiet. I enjoyed Price Lake a lot. Uh, I wish I would have spent a little more time there maybe, but I was really happy with what I got, so I just moved on. Um, yeah, next week, Fontana Lake, sunrise. And then work our way back through the Smokies and see if we can't find a nice spot to get some waterfall shots or something. But until then, take it easy. Check me out on Instagram, jtm 71 don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I appreciate you all watching and everything, and I, I love seeing all the comments below, and you guys rock, so see you all next time. Bye.